Major League Soccer in 2015 is a lot different than it used to be, but still similar in some ways. There are still teams playing in football stadiums to varying levels of success. There are still teams struggling to retain relevance outside of veterans coming in from foreign leagues. And there's still going to be a few guys on your local TV station's Facebook page telling you nobody showed up to the game and that it doesn't matter. But it's a lot different. Likewise, the soccer video game landscape has changed significantly. I was always into Konami's Pro Evolution Soccer over EA's FIFA series during the last decade, but I never knew people who were because FIFA was the only series that let us play as the Kansas City Wizards. Now, to European viewers, I'm... well, actually, I'd be surprised if I had any European viewers. Really, I'm surprised that I have any viewers at all that aren't my dad. I'm sure that sounds kind of bizarre given the jokes I've heard over the years about American soccer. But licensing counts, and licensing, and the fact that the game is actually pretty good now turned me to FIFA pretty recently. That's not to say that MLS was never a Konami product, and in fact, MLS was the entirety of Konami's licensing in ESPN MLS Extra Time. This, to my knowledge, is one of the only instances outside of Japan in which a game contained only clubs and rosters from one single league. The GameCube and Xbox versions of this game only contained the 10 teams from the 2002 MLS season, though the PlayStation 2 version has 12, as it was released before the contraction of Miami Fusion FC and Tampa Bay Mutiny. In terms of the pure soccer aspect of this game, it's very good and far ahead of its time in terms of realism. You can look back at some of the earlier soccer games from this era, primarily the FIFA series, and the soccer ball doesn't feel real in space. A lot of EA games suffered from this, like passes and shots were predetermined in a way. And that didn't feel right because soccer isn't a predetermined sport. The movement of the ball can be very chaotic. One errant foot or other body part can send it right off course. Now this game gets that feel very right, and it just feels genuine and very realistic. Through passing, crosses, corner kicks, and general movement of the players are all great as well. Also, when you get scored on, it generally feels fair. It doesn't seem like you got screwed by the game's physics ever, and generally if something gets through, it's your fault. And while that's not a good feeling, it's not an unfair feeling. Scoring goals feels as great as scoring should feel. I get that great sense of anticipation when there's a genuine chance, and there's a real satisfaction when you do score, like you earned that point. This is hard to do well in games, because if it feels too simple to get goals, you lose that. But this game doesn't have any exploit or anything like that, so everything remains fresh, even though the four or five goal celebration animations really don't. Also, for what it's worth, FIFA 16 was the first game since this one to feature actual MLS Stadia in Seattle and Vancouver. ESPN MLS Extra Time had fairly undersized and unrealistically full for the time stadiums for every team. There is a decently robust club creation mode for the era, so I used it to make a couple later expansion clubs, and while it's not perfect, I had a good time with it. There's also a number of international clubs for use, though they're all fictional players, unfortunately. I do appreciate the Canadian goalie's Mountie uniform, though. I actually really recommend this game if you're a fan of American soccer and, of course, enjoy old sports games. It's a good look back in an era of MLS that feels like an eternity ago. Seeing legends like Brian McBride, Preki, Carlos Valderrama, and Alexi Lalas alongside guys who later became big names, like Landon Donovan back when he was with San Jose, or Tim Howard or Brian Ching, really puts things in perspective. It's like a good time capsule for the last generation of American soccer for modern fans. And if you're interested in that, like I'm interested in that, definitely come pick this game up somewhere.